Okay, so practically, how are we going to isolate these three? So when we're running the reaction, we don't actually, we're not actually able to get it to completion. We'd have to reflux it for a very, very long and practical amount of time to do it to completion. So what we're going to do is we're going to reflux it, and we're going to try to purify our materials. Now, under these highly basic conditions, one of these is actually going to be in an ionic form, specifically the benzoic acid. So we really expect it to be in this form here, the benzoic ion plus the sodium, uh, sodium ion. So the first step here is to hit it with diethyl ether and water. And what that's going to do is it's going to break our compounds into two groups. This is going to be our aqueous phase, and this is going to be our organic phase. Now this is going to be really easy to isolate out. We're going to separate off our aqueous phase and then acidify it. And once we hit it with strong acid, in this case HDL, we'll get water insoluble benzoic acid that we'll be able to filter out. The complication here is actually these two. There's no really good way to separate these out. We in principle could go to super, super basic conditions and really pull that proton off, but this really isn't that likely. Like underneath those really, really basic conditions, we're probably really just getting this reaction going more than anything else. So when we finish our extraction we're, with our organic phase, we're going to actually end up with the two of these together. This is going to create an interesting complication when we do the 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. When we run that test, we're actually expecting a positive result because any unreacted benzaldehyde here is going to show up in this phase. But what we can do to measure is we can run a TLC. So if you look at the TLC, we have these three compounds on hand. We're going to see, based on the organic phase, one, we should see some benzaldehyde, but we'll verify that with the 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. But we should also see the benzyl alcohol, and this should come out relatively pure.